To get the best Madden team, go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy players, coins, and training directly to your account. And code MMG is 10% off. Double or nothing! What's good, boys? You see that beautiful coin count in the top right? Not only do you see that, you should see this. Playoffs! We have the divisional playoff. We have a beautiful exact 1.6 million to spend on one team. And we have one player that carried over from last episode. Welcome back to Double or Nothing. I love this series. I know you guys love it too. Before I hop into team building, let's do a little housekeeping. I want to tell you guys the schedule and what we have in store for the next time we do Double or Nothing. Number one, as you might have noticed, Double or Nothing has flown by. This is episode six. There's only eight episodes in this inaugural season because next episode should be 3.2 mil and after that is 6.4 mil and that's hopefully the Super Bowl. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, damn, I kind of wanted more Double or Nothing or you should keep the series going. I have some awesome ideas for the new season, but for this first season, I just wanted a quick segue, try out something brand new, see if you boys love it, and then I wanted to hop back into Wheel of Mutt. So, Double or Nothing will end on episode eight. That is the finale, but it will come back. Don't worry, we'll have even better rules. I have some really cool ways to make the series keep grinding out. We actually just got crazy lucky that in eight episodes we made it, you know, potentially to the Super Bowl. Because usually it would take a lot more games than that. We really just got lucky as shit. And the second thing to go over is what player did I carry over on the 800k squad? We got a fat dub, we had a good team, and I carried over MSU alumni, Plaxico Burris. He wasn't that influential on the team. I don't use wide receivers that much. And that's actually why I like this. I spent a lot of money on Plaxico. He's really good. He's really physical. He's really big. I don't feel like spending big coins on a wide receiver really ever again. So if I can carry over a really good wide receiver, not even have to worry about it, I can go big on other positions and still have a good wide receiver. We've got 1.6 million to build an awesome squad. Hop into a game, the divisional playoff game at that. Hopefully secure dub. Keep moving here. I am going to do skill positions absolutely last. Let's start with the positions that I'm comfortable on going cheap on and we'll go from there because now that we have such a big bankroll, it's a lot different. I think 90 overall offensive linemen are just fine. So I think I'm going to stay cheap here. I'm just going to go straight 90s across the board. Especially now this team is getting so good, I think I won't need to rely so heavily on the run game. I think I can actually start, you know, sending lasers and getting crazy weird with it. Alan Fanica, I'm going to go 90 overall center. Ryan Jensen for 40. That is kind of expensive. Playing just a little bit more will get us a 91 center. Natane Moody, 32k. 91 overall right guard. 23K for Marcus Cannon. That is dirt cheap. All right, beautiful. 1.44 mil to spend. Still, our offensive line is complete. Let's grab a fullback. You think there's a Zonka in here? I already knew there was a Zonka. I love Zonka. You guys know that. But, but you know what else I love is Christian Okoye. He has a serious nostalgic feel to me. I used Christian Okoye a lot in my first ever season of Madden Mobile. So we'll go with Okoye. Sorry, Zonka. So what else is going to be cheap? Our backup tight end will be cheap. So let's just get a solid 88 overall backup tight end. In. Bryson Hopkins. I can get a youngin. I like that. 87 speed. D tackles I usually go cheap on. So let's go there next. Let's go 90-91. We can absolutely get 90-91s every time. Malik Collins. 91 overall. Okay. And Christian Barmore. I'm going to go left end, right end next. I'm willing to go cheap there as well. I think this 90 overall Hassan Reddick is actually going to be really good. 88 speed, 90 excel. There's a 97 overall Hassan Reddick and he's an absolute demon. So I'm happy to have a little bit less OP version of him. Left end, 6 foot 9, 270, 89 speed, 87 excel. I'm actually going to go with this. Spending a little bit more than I'd like to, but that is really good. And let's get a focused kicker. I do think Young Wei Koo is one of the cheapest focused kickers in the game. So go Young way cool. All you need is focus kicker. You don't need a 200k kicker. You just need one with focus kicker. So my two backup wide receivers do not need to be good either. I don't need anybody crazy. Is there a speed demon I could get? There is a series redux Will Fuller. He got like a team of the week limited card. It's kind of expensive. 62,000. I was just talking about how I'm not going to spend a lot on wide receivers, but he is really good. I think this should be our ace of the hole. Just in case something goes haywire. This is the playoffs. I think it's a good decision to cop a player like that right there. We'll pick up Keenan Allen. Why not pick up Keenan Allen? All right, we officially have the big boy decision to make 1.1 mil to spend on the rest of this squad. Right out the gates, there's a Tyree Kill middle linebacker. He's kind of expensive. And by kind of, I mean he's really expensive. But he's insane. 92,500 coins for a 
five overall middle linebacker Tyreek. I really haven't used him that much, so I don't know. This could be a liability purchase, but look at this. 97 yeah. speed, 96 excel. He has lurker and acrobat baked into the card. He is small. His strength is bad. His tackle's bad. So no, I'm not going to be blowing up any big run plays on the goal line with him, but we will have a crazy user. Ron Taylor, right outside linebacker, 94 speed, 93 excel. He's incredible. He's got lurker and he's got, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called crusher, where every time he hits somebody, it fatigues him a lot. Left outside linebacker. I'm actually going to go big here. I'm going to go with a 94 overall for left outside. I want a big boy, a big hitter. 94 overall, Khalil Mack, 80. Oh my God, he's insane. What the fuck? Oh my God, he's so good. How have I never known about this card? 85,000 for Khalil Mack. It's a lot to spend, but he is a beast. All right, next up is free safety, strong safety, corners. Very important positions. Who is Andrew Wingard? Six foot 209, 93, 96, 94 hit power. Holy shit. Strong safety, Tracy Walker. I get my own. Get a lion here. We got the Mutt Miss players up top. 6'1, 206, 93, 95. You're, now you're talking my language. Well, you guys know I love this Jalen Ramsey. This Jalen Ramsey was on my wheel, my for a long time. Champion edition, Jalen Ramsey. Physical, can tackle, can hit. We're saving a lot of money for our corner and our halfback here. Greg, I think this Greg Newsom is fast. 94, 93. Excellent pickup. That Greg Newsom right there. We're staying cheap on corners. I normally wouldn't do it, but we are saving stupid money for quarterback halfback right now. Amani or Awarie. Guys, a beast for the Lions. He might be a little... I was going to say he might be a little slow, but he's big. 6'2", 205. I'm actually, dude, I'm building a little Lions theme team here, yeah? We're getting players in. All right, that's it for defense. We have 300K a pop to spend on quarterback halfback. I think I'm going to start with halfback. You guys know, dude, I love halfbacks. They're so important to me. I want a freak of nature. Tony Pollard is really good. Patterson is both of them are beasts, dude. Could get the Micah Parsons halfback. I'm not going to do that. Chris Johnson's and Chris Johnson is affordable. Derrick Henry is affordable. Hey, this Derrick Henry is a menace to society. Hey, straight up, that Derrick Henry is so fucking good, I really shouldn't even consider anybody else. I think I have to go with Derrick Henry here. He's so good, it's not fair. I was using him earlier, and he was just stupid, dude. Oh my god, I almost forgot I don't have a tight end. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going with the 97 overall Derrick Henry. 250K. And I just realized at the worst fucking time that I don't have a tight end. I want one that can get Hot Route Master. I know that Justin Herbert can get Hot Route Master. This should be a cool twist of fate though. He's insane. Because we had Trey Lance at the start of this season. What if we got the super Trey Lance now at the end of the season? Not gonna get Hot Route Master, I can promise you that. We would have an insane read option game though. I'm kind of tempted to go Romo. For no reason, I'm tempted to go Romo. I was thinking about doing Trey Lance, but I do want to show you guys new players. I'm doing Tony Romo so that I can save 244k for an insane tight end. I know this looks weird, but I like it. Hawkinson has a... Oh no, he's too expensive. Oh, I wanted this so bad, dude. Oh, that that would have been sick. So my options are Travis Kelsey, Wycheck, or Darren Waller if I want to go this expensive. You know, as long as I'm getting Legends players, this Vernon Davis is a tight end I always wanted to use. 94 speed, 94 catch, 92 catch in traffic. Not a run blocker, but a true receiving threat. I can definitely give him tight end apprentice, but I'll probably give Romo hot route master. 125k coins to spend? We can get backups, like serious backups. We have an insane backfield. We have 97 halfback, 95 quarterback. Backup halfback is going to be pretty important. Derrick Henry is going to get abused. So let's get somebody who can uh, understudy him a little bit. I actually like the idea of doing Christian McCaffrey. 79,000 coins left. Oh, please tell me you're within 79K, buddy. Come on. 75,100. Exactly what I wanted. 94 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility. Lamar Jackson. Let me walk you through my idea on this. Romo is awesome. He's going to be hot route master. He's going to be slinging it. But if I get to a point where I want to run read option, or I want the ability to scramble. Romo's not really the guy. So if I can just keep Lamar Jackson as the backup and we get to a point where I want to run read option, I'll sub him in. That's my idea. We got 4,800 left over of our 1.6 million. I'm going best team overall. Let's see how this looks. I'm insanely, this is by far the best team. I mean, obviously 800K to 1.6 mil is a crazy, crazy leap. The team is a 92 overall. Our backfield consists of Tony Romo, Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, and Christian Okoye. Will Fuller, Keenan Allen, and Plaxico Burris, Vernon Davis, and Bryson Hopkins as the backup. On defense, we got a speed demon, Tyreek Hill, as our middle linebacker. Sean Taylor, right outside.
outside, Trevathan at the backup, and Khalil Mack at left outside. We got Tracy Walker and Andrew Wingard, our Mutt Miss players, holding up the top with Greg Newsome, Jalen Ramsey, and Amani Oruarie at corner three. Hassan Reddick, Malik Collins, Christian Barmore, and Ed Tall jones on the D-line. And don't forget, don't you dare forget about Young Way Koo. Let's give him a focus kicker before I forget. All right, boys, our team is ready. Let's start doing some abilities. How do we want to do this? I think I am going to put Tank on Derrick Henry. Most good players should be diving at his ankles anyway. Uh, and I have been using Tank recently, and it is stupid good. Automatically break, hit, stick, tackles. Now, I actually am going to go Bruiser. I usually don't use Bruiser. I usually just use Bulldozer. But I need to get in the habit of using Stiff Arm. Recuperation will be big. He's going to get used a lot. At 6 AP on our boy here. Tony Romo, as a field general, should get protected and Hot Route Master relatively easy, which I think should be the move here. Hot Route Master, beautiful. We can put routes on Derrick Henry if we choose. Oh, I would have loved Protected. It's it's a decision between Hot Route Master and Protected. I got to go with Hot Route Master. It's that much better. Why don't we just go Pocket Deadeye then, just to ensure that we're throwing lasers? We're gonna actually going to give Romo run and gun. Does it make a lot of sense? No, but I want to get weird with it. Matchup nightmare for two. So we can dust linebackers and I have enough to put one more on him if I want it. I'm gonna give him deep out elite. I run a lot of corner routes if I'm getting cheesy, so let's do it. So Tyreek Hill and Sean Taylor have baked on abilities. That's already four AP. So Tyreek, he has acrobat lurker baked on, but can I add something else? I think Stonewall would actually be amazing on Tyreek because a lot of players are gonna try and bully him. If you can prevent additional yardage gains while tackling, that might be kind of OP. We'll go shut down on on him. So Sean Taylor has Rusher, Heavy Ball Care Fatigue on Hit Stick Tackles, and Lurker. So I think it's kind of important if we can to get him Enforcer. 2 AP guarantees the Hit Stick and then Crusher will give Heavy Fatigue. I think Khalil Mack just with how big he is, how good his edge rush is, I'd kind of like an edge threat on him. I think we'll go edge threat and under pressure for 3 AP. I'm okay with it though. 4 for that's not bad. Unstoppable Force. Just basically how I ran my Khalil Mack in Madden 20 Wheel of And he was stupid good at that. Tracy Walker, Acrobat that's gonna be nice on you, no? 2 AP for Acrobat. Keep it simple. Ooh, let's make this boy our big hitter, yeah? Andrew Wingard. How would you like to light some people the fuck up? 2 AP for Enforcer on him. 2 AP for Deflator. Just to round him out. I really like Shutdown. So we have two X Factors and one AP left. I'm just gonna add something to Tracy Walker. I'm gonna go unfakeable on Tracy Walker. And he can have the other X Factor as well. Gotta show a little bit of love. Detroit Lions. <laughs> 4,800 coins left over. We have a squad. Everybody's a beast. Everybody can play. Defense, super well-rounded. 92 overall squad. Double or nothing. Episode number six. Two more after this, boys, and we're calling it a season. Perfectly rounded team with a 92 and 92 D. All we've got is to win a playoff game. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna let you boys down. We're hopping into this playoff game. We're getting this fat W and we're moving on to the conference chip. That is my goal. Let's get it, baby. Look at that beautiful top three. Derek Henry, Tony Romo, Tyreek Hill. We're in Caesar Superdome for the conference chip. Let's get it, boys. He's got Kyler Murray. You know, I was looking at that Kyler Murray. I almost wanted that on my team. He's got 94 speed and he's got Reggie Bush as well. Who's moving for 12 yards to start this out? All right, boys, let's uh, let's not do any more of that in the playoffs, yeah? Kyler Murray, Reggie Bush, but he's got that Papa Meek syndrome. And that's the one where you forget to turn on your X-Factors. I will take any help I can get. No, no, somebody! Throws a sketchy crossbody. All right, Tyree Kill is so, f oh, okay. No, no! Dang it, I thought my D-tackle had snagged. You know what? I went cheap on my D-tackles and D-line, and he is averaging 11 yards a carry right now. Third and two, run it again. I'm gonna stuff it with Tyreek. Nope. Oh, oh, yes! What am I saying double or nothing, boys? What do I say? Every single first possession, my opponent starts with the ball, and I get them on a fourth down. It literally happens every time. Fourth and two. Big stop, I'm going on halfback, I'm there! And then, two, Tall Jones is gonna lock up! I hope this man is ready to get fucking deleted by the run game. He's on, he's user, he's user on Vita Vea! And there goes Derek, fuck yeah. He's usering Vita Vea, which I kind of, okay, he dove a little early. I might go with the stiff arm. Dude, why do you even code that animation in? That's so rude. What did I say? I need Bruiser, because I need to start using stiff arm. That's a perfect example, we've got daylight, you're gonna get Dude, I could have done anything and I would have broken that tackle. That was actually, it's actually a stiff arm I just did right there. He's not there. He's not there, Plexico. I am accidentally on Khalil Mack. I did not want this. Oh, bad ball. We have to remember, we got to send Khalil Mack every time. Okay, I'm going to send Khalil Mack. I don't mind this. Uh, can I get there? 
I know he is regretting not putting those X Factors on, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, that angle route's there. No, sir. Oh, my God! Wait, we have to. Wait, one more. Dude, this game is over. 3.2 mil. If I can just not choke, we've got 3.2 mil. Derrick Henry just keeps taking the edge. To try this jet sweep with Will Fuller, I set my ace in the hole. He bites hard. Go Fuller. Oh, jet sweep touchdown. We're playing out of our minds. Dude, I haven't even touched Vernon Davis. I literally haven't used Vernon Davis. In fact, I haven't even used Hyrule Master. I've just ran the ball. Uh, Vernon, Vernon. Tony, what are you doing? Or not Tony, who is that? Who is the other player trying to steal that two point? They're getting greedy back there. <laughs> Ramsey, Murray, no, I missed. I'm homeless. I was in his <laughs> ass cheeks, bro. I could I could it sniff it. Like I got all the scents coming out of there because, mm. It looks like it was <gasps> big. It smells so good too. Don't let him beam us over the top, boys. This man be throwing sketchy, Loki. All right, Wingard, can we clamp this up? Where do you want to throw, Kyler? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he completed that? Uh-oh, I'm stuck on us. I'm on the wrong dudes. I was so worried that Kyler is so fast. All right, let's go on Tyreek Hill. We got the speed demon for a reason, right? Is that a slip screen? It is, it is. Uh-oh. Big tackle, Tyreek. Oh, what, what? Hey, hey, hey. I totally missed the tackle part. It threw off his movement, and I get a second and 10. So I fulfilled my objective, I guess. Even if it was on accident. Uh oh sketchy ball! Tracy Walker! We gotta go, Tracy. We gotta go, Tracy! Off to the races. Let's get this rage quit and take Derrick Henry home. Take Derrick Henry home, baby! Take Derrick Henry home! Quit. You gotta quit, bro. It's a three-point game. Guess he might stick it out. Let me drop 80 on him, but I doubt it. <laughs> what is going on? How did you get to the playoffs, bro? Dude, I guarantee what happened there. As soon as he loaded up the game and saw that he forgot his X-Factors, he just didn't want to play anymore. I guarantee it. 3.2 million coins to spend in the next episode. And with a rage quit, as you know, I carry a player over. I'm not even gonna pretend that there's a mystery. Derrick Henry is coming through. And I think I'm gonna buy expensive of all linemen. I think I'm going to build a dominant, dominant run game team for this next game. I don't know if it's just amateur hour or what, but that dude won seven games, got to the playoffs and laid an egg. He's clearly not like LeBron James, the greatest player of all time. He's more like Michael Jordan, where in his first few games, he was playing plumbers and mailmen. And then finally he got to me, the milkman. And I gave him the milk and he wasn't ready for it. I really don't actually have an opinion on basketball. I just figured I'd rile some people up. So. Greatest player of all time is Dirk Nowitzki anyway. So who gives a shit about LeBron and Jordan. Ugh. Fat W's and I will see you in the next episode of Double or Nothing where we've got 3.2 million coins to spend and then 6.4 for that big boy at the end. All right, hey, I love you boys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.